Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Daniela, aka Miss Four Lizard. And I'm so glad you could join me today because today, very exciting, I'm going to be giving my mega happy planner, Miss Cassiopeia, a fall facelift. So I don't know if you watched my previous video, but in that video, I gave my other mega happy planner, Miss Andromeda, a complete fall makeover. I gave her a new wardrobe. I, you know, set her up in her fall couture and I love how she turned out. And I want to do the same thing for Miss Cassiopeia here because honestly, I've been kind of neglecting this mega happy planner um, because I've just been so busy and it happens, you know, work, home life life in general sometimes you know you get into a couple of weeks that just like everything falls to the wayside besides you know your main duties and responsibilities and making sure that um your life is running smoothly so that's kind of what happened to me for the last couple of weeks i've just been taking a lot of vacation in august through early september and it just um, that, that was amazing, that was great, super refreshing and reinvigorating, but as always happens whenever you take substantial time off, you always feel like there's a million things to do when you come back. And that's just where I was. Um, I was trying to get my life together after you know taking so much time off. And um, whenever I get really busy, the first thing to go is like my hobbies. And so while this baby right here, Miss Andromeda, she is more of my like functional, serious life business stuff. Um, so I'm in her a little bit more, you know, whether I want to or not, I'm just like in her because she's organizing my work life, my home life. And so I still am in her pretty consistently. But this baby right here, Miss Cassiopeia, she's my fun girl. And she has all my hobbies in her, like my journaling. These are less planners, more like workbooks and journals. And so th these are like strictly my hobbies. And so whenever like I get super busy, the first thing to go are my hobbies. And um, and so I just haven't really been in her as much. I've left a lot of blank pages here and there and i have been noticing that i just haven't really been like finding the energy and the motivation to get into her and you know that's fine it's normal it happens but something that i know helps me like remotivate and reinvigorate myself to get into my planner more is to like give it a complete uh, like makeover facelift renovation and just make her a new and exciting again so that's what i'm going to be doing in this video i have a bunch of scrapbook paper here and actually, um, I don't have any more of that like fall decor type of scrapbook paper that I decorated Miss Andromeda with, which is like this kind of um, orangey gold, uh, more classic fall themed uh, decor, decorative like scrapbook paper. I do have this like pastel Halloween scrapbook paper that I got in a major uh, scrapbook pack last year or two years ago. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and use this scrapbook paper to decorate um, Miss Cassiopeia. And also I'll just give you a flip through of what Miss Cassiopeia looks like right now. So uh, the cover page is still the same. It's still the floral, tropical floral um, theme, which I am probably going to change this up by next month. I think I'm going to go for like a more spooky, you know, um, pastel Halloween type of cover page for October, but I will leave her in for another month because I did have a lot of fun um, decorating her and I still want to, you know, live her fantasy right now. So the cover page or like the inside of the cover page or the title page, um, I actually ended up playing around with some stickers. I used some Jungle Vibe stickers and this really cute octopus sticker that I got at the Shed Aquarium when I was in Chicago on my vacation. I really like how it turned out, but I feel like something's missing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to add stickers to this, um, the inside of this cover page until I'm satisfied. And then we just have my calendar page and the year at a glance pages. And okay, this is where we're gonna start um, changing it up. Um, yeah, I wanna cover up this July overview. 
I have decided that I just don't like having the July overview like in the on the back of the year at a glance and while I do try to decorate it I still don't like how it's a July overview so I'm gonna go ahead and cover that up with scrapbook paper and also I'm gonna go ahead and change up the scrapbook paper that this sticky note dashboard is on change it to the you know like pastel halloween type scrapbook paper and that way it's more in theme so let's get into it And just like that, I messed up. <laughs> I always do this. I accidentally cut the scrapbook paper so that it's uh, horizontally, it's horizontal, and I should have done it, you know, vertical. So I'm gonna go ahead, thankfully I have another sheet of that same pumpkin um, design. So I'm gonna go ahead and recut this. So that's something I always do is I mess up when it comes to the orientation of the paper. So I'm gonna do this again. And then I'm going to uh, just uh, use this tape adhesive to uh, just tape the back of this. And then I'm gonna place the scrapbook paper on top of it and then finish it up by punching it. Okay, that's so much nicer than that random July overview. So I'm happy with how that turned out. And then I just have a Mickey Mouse folder with some origami paper, some stickers, a uh, Mickey Mouse envelope, and then another folder with some stationery and some sketchbook paper in it. And then we have my wellness journaling section. So these are just wellness pages um, that I can journal in if I so choose with my bookmark here. So I am thinking of um, putting in my sticky note dashboard here with some scrapbook paper to divide the section. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And for my sticky note dashboard, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this, uh, this scrapbook paper here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down to size. Oh, I'm just gonna cut this actually um, with my scissors because I just realized that the sticky notes are kind of um, hampering the cutting blade. So I'll just go ahead and cut this manually. And then we're just gonna go ahead and transfer all the sticky notes over. There we have it, we're done with the sticky note dashboard. I'm happy with how it turned out. And for the back of it, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use, what should I use? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use this, uh, this scrapbook paper for the back of it. And so there we have the new sticky note dashboard. I like how it turned out. 
So that way um, we have a little bit more separation between my different sections. We have this one separating um, the calendar from my folders and envelopes. And then we have my sticky note dashboard separating um, my wellness pages. So there we go. All right, so there we have my wellness pages nicely separated. And then I want to get rid of this guy. So this is just a piece of scrapbook paper with some stickers um, on it. So that way I could just grab for some stickers. And I kind of want to leave, I kind of want to leave this page here, the August overview. Um, because I just really like how I uh, set up this page but I'm thinking of um, getting rid of these two pages not getting rid of but like moving these pages back into um, the planner that they came from and I want to do something completely different with the September overview I had a sticker here that was really random I ended up just pulling it off so now there's just this like uh, you know black hole here but uh, definitely I'm still playing around with how I like to do my September overview pages in my mindfulness um, planner. So uh, let's see, what, what do I want to do here? First of all, I'm going to pull this out and I'm just going to substitute it with some of these scrapbook papers. Oops, I forgot to add this back in. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna use this one right here. This is this cute little ghost scrapbook paper. So let's cut this to size. Okay, the camera cut off, so I went ahead and cleared up some space on my phone. But anyways, I punched this scrapbook paper and I put it into um, my into the rings and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paper clip these two together so that way um, I can just like flip it and there's no random like week in there it's just goes straight to the August overview this is the September overview or I mean this is September and I still have the August overview because I just really like how this August overview turned out and right now my September overview really needs some help I really messed up um, right here I put down a sticker without really like thinking about it and I just did not like how it turned out so I'm gonna work on the September overview and then maybe I can um, substitute this August uh, overview with the September one once I figure out exactly what I want to do with that but for now we'll leave the August overview in there and then the September monthly which I still need to figure out how I want to use this for my mindfulness journal because this is my mindfulness journal and um yeah I just I use it for mindfulness and meditation and I'm not sure exactly how I want to use the monthly calendar view for that so this was last week and again as you can see I've been kind of neglecting this planner section because I've just been so busy. I'm going to leave these pages in here uh, for now because I like to go back in and still journal and use these pages even if it's been two, three weeks since the actual, you know, week has passed because um, you don't have to, you know, like closely follow the date and I can always go back in, write some daily highlights, write some, you know, mindfulness practices in here and fill these pages up. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those in here and then this is the next week, next week. October overview. So, okay, there we go. And then the next um, section is my, my, my journaling section. And let's see, uh, I'm gonna replace this scrapbook paper with some um, of this pastel Halloween paper. And I've also been kind of struggling to, to really use this to its full extent because again, just been super busy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, I need to take out this page and I'm going to take out this page as well because um, it is the scrapbook divider and then I'm just going to leave this page in because it has a September overview and I'm going to paper clip this to the back of this scrapbook paper so that way it can go straight into the September overview. This is the September monthly 
the first week in September. This is the second week in September, which I haven't journaled in at all. And then this was the current week again. I decorated but didn't journal. So I usually try to um, journal in it eventually. Like it doesn't matter to me that I journal in it like weeks after the, you know, the week has passed. And I can definitely fill this up pretty easily. I just need, you know, 10-15 minutes to be in the mindset to journal and then I can fill this up. So, um, uh, let's, let's put this bookmark here. And, um, okay, now I need to uh, make the scrapbook divider for this section. go and I'll paper clip these two together so that way I have just uh, the scrapbook divider and then the September overview and then my September monthly my September uh, weekly spreads and then on to the next section and I tend to use these September overviews more as collages and places to just decorate and sticker. I don't really write in them too much because I don't really have anything to, to like, I don't really use these for anything in my journaling, um, my journaling section. And they're just fun to decorate and sticker collage. So I still need to do that one. Okay, so the next section is my Japanese language learner section and I use a color block vertical for this and this planner section has been so neglected because I've just been uh, traveling, vacation, post vacation, you know it. And so I haven't filled in um, the last week of August at all and I haven't filled in the, the first week of September, the second week of September, and this is the current week and I still haven't filled in for the past four weeks, which is so surprising to me. I haven't been this behind in this Japanese planner since I got this planner. So this weekend, I'm definitely gonna try to fill up this planner. And yeah, let's hoping let's hope this uh, this fall renovation is going to motivate me to get back into um, this planner. So I'm going to I'm gonna use uh, let's see I'm gonna use this scrapbook paper with the pumpkins. I don't care that it's um, like the wrong direction. Uh, that's fine, I suppose. I might cut out this square here and paste it on there. Yeah, I think that would be cute. Yeah, I might do that. I might uh, actually cut out these three here and use that. So that way it kind of distracts from the fact that the scrapbook paper is the wrong way. So I'll put that there like that. And then that will be the divider. Okay, so let's... Let's glue this down. And then as before, I can paper clip these two pages together. So that way um, it goes straight into the spread that I want it to go into. And once I finish this week, then I can take out that week and then I can have the September overview um, immediately after the divider which again, because I haven't really been working in this um, this planner, I just haven't gotten around to decorating the uh, the over the, the monthly overview, which in this planner, I also don't really tend to use it very much because I just don't really have, you know, a need to use this section for how I use this particular planner. I do like decorating them, so again, I'll probably do some kind of um, collage here. So there it is. And these spreads are really adorable. I really want to work in this planner. I just haven't found the time or energy, but you know, it happens. Okay, so the next, um, the next section here is my reading section, another section that has been kind of neglected as of late. 
and as you can see like this is the last week in august really didn't do too much there the september overview the september monthly and then this was the first week in september the second week in september the third week in september a lot of blank pages you know i'm not afraid to share that and to show that but i've been really thinking about um how i want to use my reading journal and i've decided that i kind of want to step away from the planner format when it comes to my reading journal i still really like the monthly overview and i still want to use a planner but i think i'm gonna you know take it take it a step back and not really stick to the weekly spreads um, i'm thinking that i want to make instead of every week journaling about whatever it is i'm reading i just kind of want to make a spread for every single book that i finish or am reading and that way i'm not like tied to writing every single week but more so that i just have like a spread dedicated to each book and i think that's gonna help me like kind of collect my thoughts a little bit more and give me just like give me less uh, or give me less pressure to write every single week so i kind of started already doing that so this spread was about the underground railroad by colson whitehead which i'm currently listening to on audible and then this um the spread over here was for two cheers for anarchism um, by james c scott which i also am currently reading so i'm just going to ignore the dates and make each spread um reflective of a book that i'm reading and i think that's going to be the move so we'll see how that turns out um I think I, I, I'm excited for this new reading journal format because that way I can kind of decorate the pages um, kind of like corresponding to the book. So for the Underground Railroad, I'm going to try to find some like train stickers, um, maybe like a train stamp, some railroad track stamps to just like play around with the imagery a bit more. Um, this book was so intense. It's such an intense book. And I'm currently watching the Amazon original series on, on Amazon Prime. And it's actually very, very good. Like I'm surprised that it is so good. So highly recommend The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll definitely keep you all updated on my reading journal. But, you know, it's interesting how your creative process and your creative journaling evolves throughout the times. And I was so, you know, so gung-ho for, like, writing about whatever I was reading every week. And I did really enjoy that for a while. But now I kind of want to, you know, approach my reading journal in this new format where I'm writing or I'm making spreads just, like, based on the book and, you know, not writing just hodgepodge every single week because i do read multiple books at a time and so when i make a spread it's not just about like one book there's like various different ideas going on and i think maybe this way if i isolate one book to one spread i can kind of like explore it more like play around with the theme a little bit more so yeah i'm excited for the uh the evolving um, my evolving reading journal so honestly I'm kind of over these pages here so I'm gonna pull out this page I wanted to write more on this page but I honestly am kind of over this spread and I want to move on to this new idea I have of decorating each spread according to the book I'm reading and this one was going to be two cheers for anarchism but this spread has nothing to do with the themes of the book so I'm gonna go ahead and just let go of this spread you know i don't care that i didn't write in it oh i'm gonna leave this page in because it has the september overview on the back and i've been wanting to get back into my september overview i like writing new vocabulary i learned in this list here and also books that i want to eventually read um any recommendations i get or just any books that i see that i want to read eventually i write down here and then this right here i'm still unsure about like how much how exactly i want to use that section but we're gonna leave that there and then the monthly overview i like printing out photos of all the books that i've finished or that i've started in this month to just kind of give like capture like the you know the reading world that i'm in during the month um so i already printed out a photo here and i need to print out uh, a photo of the underground railroad 
and I'm gonna leave this here because I already started writing about the Underground Railroad here and I can turn the spread into one that is, you know, reflective of the themes in this book. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one there. And in this spread, I actually haven't started writing at all. And I might go ahead and continue it this, like I might continue on with the Underground Railroad with this spread. Um, we'll see, I'm not sure exactly. And then again, I still haven't decided what I wanna do with this weekly spread here. I could start um, writing about Two Cheers for Anarchism or I can continue with the Underground Railroad here. Not sure, not sure. So, um, you know, it's okay. I haven't decided, but that's the fun of the process. Okay, so I want to replace this scrapbook paper with, let's see, what do I have left? I'll use this piece of scrapbook paper here. Here we go. And then I can clip these two pages together so that way it goes straight into the September overview and then the September monthly, my weekly spreads. And I'm gonna move this bookmark over to this spread here because again, this is no longer um, limited or constrained by a timeline or dates. And I currently want to finish up this Underground Railroad spread because I'm almost done. F I actually, well, I listened to the Underground Railroad um, on Audible and I went through one complete reading of it. But um, with Audible, a lot of the times I feel like I have to listen to it twice or different sections um, twice because um, it is a little bit harder to like make sure that you're paying attention that like, because oftentimes I'll be multitasking while I'm listening to the Audible book. And so sometimes my attention does wander and I get distracted and I miss, you know, sections of the novel. And so I decided to read through it or listen through it a second time. So I'm currently on my second listening of the Underground Railroad and I definitely feel like I got a lot more the second time around because it's just listening to it the second time. You pick up a lot more things and you pick up the stuff that you missed and you just reinforce the stuff that you already listened to uh, the first time around. So um, I'm gonna probably go to Joanne's or Michael's later today uh, to see if I can get any stickers or stamps that I can use in uh, my spreads for the Underground Railroad or for Two Cheers, um, two cheers for Anarchism. So there we go. And then we have the October overview here. And then this is my next section. And this is my social media section. It has everything to do with my YouTube channel, my Four Lizard YouTube channel. And I think I'm going to pull out this page. I was holding on to it because I wanted to see if I was going to use this August overview. Haven't really, you know, reached for it. So I might just go ahead and pull that out. And then that way I just have my September overview here. And this is just a piece of scrapbook paper with some stickers on it that I think I'm gonna replace now. And I actually just have these two scrapbook paper um, papers left. I'm kind of hesitant to use them because um, they, like the Let's Get Wicked doesn't really fit on one um, on one happy planner page. I guess I could do it like this and then have it be sideways. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that, honestly. All right, let's do it. All right, so now we have this Let's Get Wicked uh, scrapbook paper, and then I can paper clip these together so it goes straight into the September overview and then the September monthly. This is where I've been keeping track of how many videos I post on my YouTube as well as your view counts. And then we just have um, the weeks of September. This is the current week here, and this is the upcoming week. And then we have my last planner section in this planner, which is my scrapbooking section. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this uh, scrapbook divider with the stickers on the back, and I'm gonna put in this one here. 
the same let's get wicked um, so I kind of want to cover up this white um, the back of the scrapbook paper because it's white I don't want to paper clip it though all right so I won't worry about this too much for now I'll probably eventually get some scrapbook paper to cover the back of this because it's just plain white and it feels kind of out of place so this is my last section in this happy planner i really love this july divider and even though it's september i'm still holding on to this july divider because it says collect beautiful moments on it which is so so perfect and appropriate for this you know scrapbook section of my mega happy planner and and i actually paper clipped it to the july overview so this overview is supposed to go in front of this july um this July divider but I kind of rearranged it so that way I would have the divider and then this overview here because that way I don't have to have two random like calendar pages in the middle but this is just one of my favorite um, overviews that I've made so far and it's just really really cute and it makes me happy to see it so I just like leaving it in my planner and then this is just a random spread for one of the last weeks in July and then it's the uh, and then we have the August overview here which I like to print out my favorite photos of the month to put in my August overview as a kind of a gallery so my mom and Awalita my trip to Mexico and then my boyfriend's passport photo which is really funny and then we have my August uh, monthly and I like to decorate the August monthlies I'm not super invested in decorating them, you know, making sure that they're all nice, but I, I go ahead and play around with them at times. And then I really, really love this section. So I'd keep two months at a time for this section. All other planners, I just keep one month at a time because my planners get really thick. But this is the only section I keep two months at a time because I just love flipping through it and seeing all of my memories for the past, you know, two months. So um, I recently updated this spread. I did a whole spread on my backpacking trip in the Eastern Sierras. And I had so many photos and stickers that I wanted. I needed to put in some extra like scrapbook inserts to a uh, scrapbook. So there's the back of that spread. And I did like how I did the original inserts, but I used um, white filler paper as a background and that was really bugging me after a while. So I went ahead and I redid the inserts. So these two um, scrapbook paper inserts right now are uh, my updated version of this section. So I have some postcards and something that was bothering me was that I didn't really like consolidate the lake pictures that I had and the lake postcards with the lake stickers. Like the lake stickers were so random and out of place in my opinion and that was really bugging me. And so I went ahead and like collected all the lake stickers into this um, scrapbook paper and I put the lake bound sticker and the meet me at the lake sticker. These stickers are adorable. They're 3D, they're super thick. And then this one was more like the mountain um, pictures that I took and I put the scrapbook paper that says the mountains are calling and I must go. And yeah, so I used more stickers here. And then this one is a little bit more of a random um, page. I just had like a bunch of camping stickers, um, this uh, Texas style barbecue sticker I got from a barbecue place we stopped at in Bishop. So there we go. And then this is just another um, and I just put some random stickers, a take a hike, wild and free scrapbook paper, and I still have room for one more photo here. So I'll probably go back and print out another photo and put it here. And then this is the last page of the spread. What a fun trip. And then we have the September overview, which I still haven't printed out um, photos for that or decorated that. And then this is the September uh, monthly, which I struggle with decorating these, you guys. Like it's, I just feel like I haven't really found my rhythm when it comes to decorating the monthlies. But um, the first week in September, the first two weeks in September dominated by my Chicago trip. So again, whenever I go have like, whenever I have a vacation or whenever I have like a trip that I take tons of photos and I get lots of stickers, I end up needing more room than what the weekly spread like allows me. So I put in scrapbook paper inserts again and I used a bunch of Chicago stickers. This is a postcard at a bar that I got and then just more postcards, photos I took, Chicago stickers. 
um, just more photos, uh, another postcard, more photos and stickers. And yeah, this was Chicago. And then this was the last couple of days in Chicago. So just more photos and Chicago stickers. I got this super cute Beluga sticker at the Shed Aquarium in Chicago. And then also when I came back from Chicago, I had a few days at work and then I went camping with my boyfriend and his dad in Anza Borrego State Park. So this is a postcard from Anza Borrego State Park. And I just put that there. And then this is the current week, which I haven't gotten around to decorating at all because usually I end up um, decorating the weeklies a few weeks after, um, after the week because I print out photos and stuff. And the last section in here is my filler paper um, in case I want to reach for filler paper. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this flip through and this setup of my mega happy planner. I'm really excited with how it looks now. I just need to get some paper clips, um, just maybe one or two more pieces of scrapbook paper, um, and I think we're good. I think we're good to go. I'm really excited with how this um, how this planner uh, turned out. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!